I've given myself an entire week to think on whether I should make this video or not, and after giving it a while, I have finally decided yes, I will be making this video. I absolutely regret how I handled this situation, and I wish I could take all of the horrendous things I said about Isaac back, but all I can do at this point is hold myself accountable while also taking full responsibility for my own actions. This isn't just going to be an apology to the person I've basically wronged, but also help clear their name as they have been accused of some horrendous shit that isn't true. I do have quite a large audience, so I think it would be a good idea to put that all to good use. To give you the full context, Nothing Is Scary began putting out a series of videos that implicated Isaac of a lot of shady things during what was known as the Ray Turner drama. And these claims would range from lies, to manipulation, to instigating drama, to false accusations, and of course being involved in online harassment. If you want to get the full context of why all of these claims are just outright wrong, I will leave a link in the description below to Isaac's video on the whole matter. They do a good job of debunking everything while also taking full responsibility for the mistakes they made during the drama. When the videos were released, I instantly believed everything that was said in them without even asking for Isaac's side of the story, which was not only wrong, but was also straight up neglectful of me to have done that. I honestly should have spoken to Isaac about the whole situation rather than believing all the claims laid against him based on general assumptions, and I am truly sorry for that. But unfortunately, that's not where everything ends. Not only did I say some very hurtful and outright horrendous things about Isaac, but I also disrespected their gender identity several times in the comments. For those who don't know, Isaac is gender fluid and likes to be referred to by male pronouns. I constantly refer to Isaac by female pronouns rather than the male pronouns that they prefer. This was utterly wrong of me to have done all this. I should never have misgendered Isaac, and I certainly should never have said all those horrendous things about him whatsoever. But that's not even the worst part. The worst part is in regards to this user. For those who don't know, this is the user Green Sea Turtle. She was one of the many people who was involved in the Ray Tana drama and would also be involved in the subsequent dramas that erupted afterwards. I don't know exactly what caused relations between Isaac and Green to go sour, but suffice to say it was probably a very nasty falling out. So you would think the solution to this whole thing would be to simply roll up your sleeves and then just move on with your day, right? Right? Well, except Green didn't seemingly do this. Instead, they would spend months, if not an entire year on end, cyberstalking and harassing Isaac. Not only saying very transphobic things about Isaac, but even spreading false information about him and even going as far as to tell Isaac to off himself. And keep in mind, this isn't the first time Isaac has had to deal with this type of harassment beforehand. They've already received a great deal of it during the Raytana drama at the hands of Ray's fans. So, you're all probably wondering, what does Green Sea Turtle have to do with me exactly? Well, Green Sea Turtle left a comment on my community tab where they basically spread a bunch of lies about Isaac, to which I stupidly believed it. I was then rightfully called out by both Scary and Isaac, to which I apologised shortly afterwards. Isaac would then have a conversation with me in private and essentially told me to not only never get involved in drama again, but also try to get both sides of the story in the future before making general assumptions. But, unfortunately, I would end up making the exact same mistake yet again. Once Scary dropped his videos on Isaac, Green Sea Turtle would then make a video talking about Isaac, and I'm not joking, they literally tried to justify their harassment and cyberstalking of him as merely nothing more than just harmless trolling. Yeah, this argument, by the way, would fly in court with the majesty of a stone. But of course, me along with many others believed this stupid lie and we even went as far as to apologise to Green. And good god, I really wish I hadn't. Not to mention, during the whole drama, when Isaac brought back their YouTube channel, I immediately went over to Green's channel and warned him of this, to which I was then rightfully called out by Isaac's husband. Yeah, there is no getting around this, nor is there any excuses for this either. I should never have done that, and Vlad had all the right in the world to call me out for this. But, sadly, things would get worse from here. For those who are not aware of recent events, Raytana forced the Hotbox to make a public apology video in order to help clear her own name. However, this would end up backfiring on Raytana drastically once everyone saw the DMs between her and the Hotbox. Not helping her case was the fact that she misgendered Isaac several times, which only ended up putting more fuel on the fire for those who were already critical of her. After receiving public backlash for this whole situation, Raytana then tried to take her own life, but luckily she was found on time and was eventually saved in the end. 
It was because of this whole incident that me and many others believed that Isaac was responsible for this whole situation, but that was not true. Things would eventually change once Isaac released their video, pretty much debunking all of the claims made against them, while also taking responsibility for the mistakes they made during this situation. Upon seeing this video, I eventually realised my mistake and went over to apologise to Isaac. Now, has Isaac made their fair share of mistakes during the drama? Yes. Absolutely. But they have since apologised and taken full accountability for those mistakes. But regardless, that doesn't justify how I and many others have treated him. It doesn't justify the cyberstalking and harassment, and it certainly doesn't justify how people literally tried to make Isaac into the full guy of the whole situation once it all blew up in their faces. He didn't deserve any of this in the slightest. And the fact that people are still hell-bent on blaming Isaac for this whole situation while failing to elaborate or provide any basic evidence whatsoever really goes to show that this drama should have died and stayed buried a long time ago. So with all of that being said, Isaac, if you're watching this video, there is no other way for me to put this other than the fact that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I handled this situation, I'm sorry for the hurtful comments, I'm sorry for the misgendering, and I am most certainly sorry for believing all of those lies that were said about you. I should have asked for your side of the story rather than believing everything without question. The way I handled this situation was poor to say the least, and you have all the right in the world to be absolutely furious with me for it. I hope you are able to forgive me for all of this, but if you're not able to, then honestly, I don't blame you. Because with the way I handled things, I honestly don't deserve your friendship, let alone your trust, because I broke that trust twice in a row. But either way, I wish you nothing but the best out there. I hope you are able to recover from this whole situation, and I hope you and Vlad have a wonderful life together. After everything you two had to endure, you both certainly do deserve each other. Anyways, now that that's all out of the way, I'm going to be doing everything I can to stay out of this whole situation because, to be honest, I don't want anything to do with this drama anymore. If anything else pops up from this whole drama, then to simply put it, I do not care anymore. I'm just going to simply ignore it and just move on with my day. Instead, I'm going to focus on making the content I actually enjoy, like my LEGO videos, for example. I actually have quite a few plans in regards to future projects. If this drama does so happen to re-emerge, I am not going to be getting involved in it. I don't want anyone coming into my DMs telling me about this, and I certainly don't want anyone trying to drag me back into this drama, because at this point, I am done, and I simply do not care anymore. But until then, comrades, I shall see you all in the next video. Take care.